Welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows, movies, and movie trailers. Today's movie I will be reviewing is Tom and Jerry. But before I get into my review, if you are enjoying the content, please subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't seen Tom and Jerry, consider this your spoiler warning. Now let's get into this review of this horrible, horrible adaptation of Tom and Jerry. This whole movie was a miss. How anyone can look at this movie and say they enjoyed it, thought the acting was good, thought the, the premise of this movie was correct. I mean, this is straight a cash grab. And I mean, all the sweet nostalgia money that this is the, this is the only reason this movie was made. I saw a bunch of YouTube movie critics quote unquote, and I use that term loosely. They must have been paid to give this movie a, an endorsement. I know one channel for sure was paid to give this movie a good review because after the review and he or she did it very under the radar, waited around a week and then had a sponsorship for Warner Brothers or HBO Max, whatever you want to call it. But this movie was trash. The only thing good about this movie was the animation. So whoever did the animation for this movie, hats off to you, you guys did a great job. Everything else was horrible. How the actors weren't outraged, walked out of the project. Maybe they needed the money too. There was a, I mean, the casting was a bunch of notable people. Why I said, hey, yeah, let's do this was beyond me. The portrayal of the Hispanic, I get just because you had a well-rounded cast, there was African-Americans, there was Indians, there was whites, there was Hispanics. But the, the portrayal of Terrence was so insulting for me watching it as a Hispanic male. I've seen him act. I know what he does in Ant-Man. I know he speaks good English. So his far out there portrayal of this accent that goes in and out throughout this whole freaking movie was insulting and how he didn't walk out and say, no, nah, I'm not gonna portray Hispanics this way. What's wrong with portraying Hispanics that talk correctly? How, why? Well, I don't get the stereotype. The the, the black doorman was, was bothersome to me. The, the whole thing just sense of a lack of awareness and saying, hey, look, we're multicultural. So it's okay for me to portray these people as minorities. And oh, look how I'm elevating the, 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 the it's a white guy and an Indian woman getting married. Oh, look, look, and it's a, it's a white woman serving but yet the portrayal of the of the, i mean the black and the hispanic especially for me the hispanic was so bothersome every time that dude spoke i was like wait how why why he, in some scenes he's talking perfectly fine but then in other scenes it's like they go out of their way to portray oh look look at this heavy accent and it it's it it bothered me so much just because you throw him in oh he's an events manager that doesn't mean anything why can't he talk right? The actor talks good English. I've seen him in a ton of movies, like I said. What was the point? So I, I, I couldn't watch it. If you have kids, I get you put it on and the kids have no notion of it and they're going to, to kind of glance, uh, you know, glance. they're not gonna pay too much attention to that stuff. But for someone that like me that has seen the cartoons and lives in a fuck in a world that, you know, we, we all see the, 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 the biases around us, how this got greenlit and said, yeah, this is, we're going to put this out there. The jokes were a miss. Like I said, the animation was cool, but the acting was horrible. They were, when you saw the actors looking at the animation, they were looking at the wrong places. This was like Roger Rabbit but worse. Roger Rabbit was at least done in a way that was, was innovative, was, was somehow, uh, in integral into the, the parts. And a lot of the human actors didn't interact with the cartoons as much as this. It, it was just a whole miss. I, I regret watching this. I had to skip 
over the movie's like a, an hour and 25 minutes i only could bear 25 and i kept on and i kept on skipping everything was a complete miss so how this movie got reviews how people are not outraged more about this how this is even how people consider this a good a good movie i don't know i get that there was a good adaptation as far as the tom and jerry part that we, the, some of the same jokes that you saw in the cartoon we saw here like the hitting over the head to the dog and he creates the 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 bump in his head and he pushing his back in the the weird re relationship between tom and jerry and we saw towards the end it's it just continues i get all that part besides that whole part nothing worked of this movie tell me what worked i didn't laugh once i was I was more upset the more I watched it, the more I continued watching it, like you're insulting my my intelligence with this. So I'm not gonna waste my time anymore with this review. I hated it. This movie is garbage. Whoever grin, grin, uh, uh, gave this movie a green light, you should never produce a movie uh, ever again. Your insensitivity to cultural and Hispanics, um, your portrayal of Hispanic is ridiculous. And I don't care that a Hispanic person agreed to play that part and agreed to make us, to, to portray us as a stereotype. I don't care. You as a director, as a producer, Warner Brothers, period, should have had more sense in saying, you know what, maybe we shouldn't portray them that way. Maybe we should have them speaking proper English, not mumbling and stumbling like he did, not make us look like a freaking buffoon. So anyways, if you enjoyed it, hats off to you, whatever you're, you know, what if I'm, if you think I'm looking too much into it, then let me know your thoughts in the comments. This movie was trash. I don't recommend it. And like always, that's a wrap.